YouTube, and I'm back with another visual from your boy Original. And we back with some Jordans, my people. As you can see right here, we got the military black Air Jordan 4s. Fire silhouette. Fire. So for those who don't know, where they got this idea for the military black comes from the military blues. I do not have the military blues. I wish I did. But why drop something like this without giving us those first? A lot of people are confused as to where this colorway came from and why it released. But it comes from the military blue force. But before we get into the shoe, make sure you like, you comment, you share, you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated. Okay, so the Military Black 4. These released May 21st on Saturday. I hit on my sneaker reservation app. You guys, download that Foot Locker app. I'm trying to tell you, sneakers app is dead. I'm not waiting until 10 o'clock to look at my phone to see if I lost or not. My chances are higher with Foot Locker, so that's why I'm telling you guys, download the Foot Locker app. Try and make some purchases throughout the week. Add your head start. You can add three head starts to every single draw that comes. Add them. I'm telling you, I'm hot right now. But in this video, as well as all my other videos, we will be discussing colorway, quality, and if you should cop or not. Let's start with the colorway. Now, at the bottom of the sole, we have a light gray on our back heel. We have a black on our forefoot with the white jump man. On the front of our toe, we have black and we have a light gray where our stars lay. Continuing on to the midsole, we have a white midsole. Above the white midsole, we do have a light gray suede toe cap. The white on our toe box and our medial lateral side is leather, tumbled leather, which I love. Continuing on, that cage on top of our toe box is in white with a black neoprene material behind the tongue and the side paneling. Our laces are in white. Our lace locks are in black. Our tongue is in white with the light gray patch with the black jump man and the flight words that read in the flight words in gray. Continuing on to the collar of our shoe, we have a light gray in the collar of our shoe where we place our foot. Our back heel has a black pull tab with a white jump man. We have the light gray winged eyelids on our side paneling. The colorway to these military black fours is very simple. Nothing special here. I, I do have a bone to pick though. I feel like before we seen this military black, we we're supposed to see the military blues. Why release this, you know? Because a lot of people who are just starting to learn sneakers think this is a new colorway. They think that this colorway hasn't surfaced before, but it has. The only difference is, is the black you see here is swapped out with the military blue. So I feel like a lot of these sneakerheads that feel like they under, they know what released it. Come on, Jordan, reel it back a little bit so these young cats can understand that this, this came before just in a different colorway but when it comes to colorway i'm gonna rate this a uh, seven out of ten nothing nothing crazy continuing on to the quality on the bottom of our shoe we have a rubber outsole whole outsole is in rubber continuing on to our midsole same thing we have a rubber on our midsole our toe cap is in suede our toe box is in leather we have our flat rope laces we have our rubber cage on the top of our toe box we have the plastic black lace eyelids we have the rubber winged eyelids, the rubber pull tab on the back with the white jump man. My favorite part about this Air Jordan 4, especially with the quality, is the tumble leather throughout. You can see that plush defied leather throughout the whole white of this shoe. It's defined, it's soft, it's buttery. When I'm looking to grab J's, beyond the colorway, I want the, the quality to be supple, 
filled with texture and you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how you separate a good quality shoe from a normal quality shoe. So when it comes to quality, I'm gonna rate this an eight out of 10. I love, love the quality that they put on these. And that's why I'm happy that they did release a military black. But when you release those military blues, make sure they're like this, Qual of quality, you feel what I'm saying? Thank you, Jordan, for releasing this Jordan in a, in a quality form. I appreciate that. Now, on to if you should cop or not. I don't see why you wouldn't cop these. They're simple. You can do anything with them. I do have some things I don't like about the shoe. I feel like there's a lot of white everywhere, which is great for summertime. Summertime is nice and dry. It's bright. You, you want to break your white shoes out in the summertime, but these aren't coming out in the fall. These aren't coming out in the winter. That, that weather will just diminish these joints. The way to keep your white shoes fresh, wear them once in a while. Don't, if you want your shoes to remain white, but you enjoy wearing them, you have to wear them once in a while. You can't wear them all the time. Cause that's how you get that dark tint. And that's how you get your, your socks looking like they're, they're gray when they're white and your shoes, you know what I'm saying? Just minimize the wears with your white joints. Should you cop? I think you should, but I feel like these are a highly anticipated release. If you check on StockX, these joints is like 330 to 350 right now. And I don't think the, the price is coming down. A lot of people want these. Scoop Drip, my local resale store, is asking for these pairs. And when they ask, when they're asking for people to send their joints down, you already know they see a vision for them to be sold. I want these, I'm keeping these. These is fire. I got them retail. Mind you, retail on the Jordans has went up. I remember spending 190 to 200 on fours. I spent 212 on these. So we, we got like a, a 10 to $20 up on all Jordans, which is cool. But if you're gonna up the price on these J's, bring that quality up too. I'm not complaining, but if you're gonna bring the price up, bring the quality up. I know y'all agree with me. So should you cop? It's a fire shoe, but 300, that's kind of crazy. It's a lot of bread. If you got some money, stash, do your thing. If not, just sit, sit back and watch the prices drop because they may, but as of right now, I don't think so. I'm happy I got these retail, you know what I'm saying? They're starting to um, release a lot of J's that look like what we have already, but whatever they got going over there at Nike, they're figuring it out. But anyway, thank you for watching my videos. I'm trying to give you guys consistent content all 2022. Thank you for tuning in. I thank you all my subscribers. Keep commenting, keep subscribing. Content is being pushed. But before I get to the end of this video, Make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated. Let me throw these on feet, man.